Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you an easy DIY Christmas wreath that you can do yourself. It costs not a lot depending on like the items you get. So I got a, I think it was like $10 we got for Black Friday. Christmas wreath. It is fake. A box of 35 count LED battery operated strand lights from Lowe's, which were pretty cheap. And then some polyfill that we already had. So I'll be here. I'm going to turn the lights on. So I went ahead and wrapped the lights around because it depends on the pattern you want. So you can do any pattern you want. So if you want to stick them out from underneath. And you really should use a fake one because you can add stuff to it. It doesn't have to be, if it's put away, it won't break as easily as a real one and you have to get a new real one every year. So there's probably going to be extra lights. If you do have extra lights like this, I simply went around and just chucked them in to the sides of the wreath. Even if they poke out, it's fine. Just put them around. So that after you finish that, you want to flip the wreath back over. If it keeps popping out, you might want to take some tape. I just don't have any tape with me right now. So I'm going to take some polyfill and stick over the lights. Don't use too much or it blocks the lights. And don't use, like, not enough because then you'll see the top of the light poking out. And it's okay if it seems like you have a lot of polyfill filling in all the lights because it's supposed to be snow, but it's fake snow. And then later on, I'm going to post a second video, hopefully, of what you can do to add on to the wreath. wreath. Sorry. And so I'm still going around. And like, even if you see some lights poking in from underneath, just pop some polyfill on it. Stuffing. You guys call it stuffing, okay? I call it polyfill. Like, I see a light down here, I'm gonna stuff some filling. And if you feel like you have too many lights, and you don't want these lights in the back, simply just turn them around and tuck them in. And if these lights keep popping out, just really poke them in and they'll stay. And you'll want to look at it a couple times to make sure you like where all the lights are and that you got all the lights. And you can glue the polyfill on if you want, which I would suggest. I'm just not gluing it on right now because my glue gun's put away. But I suggest not putting too much polyfill, but then you do want a lot of polyfill, if that makes sense to you guys. what I have, this is mine, and it was really nice I can turn this light off and you can kind of see it a little better. And then, when you don't want it on, you just flip the switch off so you don't waste your batteries. Bye guys, thanks for watching my video. Go hit the subscribe button if you already, if you haven't yet, and if you have, give this video a thumbs up. Bye!